Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So the first type of video that we're gonna do here is a recap video. So let's kind of get into it and let's see what, how the Yankees play today. So, cause it wasn't terrible, it's spring training. Who cares? Watching these spring training games, you kind of really just dive into the names that you know and some of the prospects that are being watched uh, and kind of dive into their type of day that they had. So the Yankees today fell to the Phillies seven to four. Uh, they scattered six hits, scoring four runs and making an error. And the Phillies had 11 hits, scoring seven runs and no errors. So uh, Yankees did, again, only spread across six hits. But, you know, it was a makeshift lineup today. So you did have some regulars. Before we go through the lineup, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel grow and continue to build the community. Uh, let's try to get this to the 1,000 subscriber mark relatively soon so that when the season starts, we have a big community that we can really come together and really dissect how the Yankees are doing throughout the course of the season. So, regulars. before let, Let's put Dominguez off to the side for right now. So, you have Kiner Falefa, you have Torres, Oswaldo Cabrera, and Bader as your regulars. Uh, Kiner Falefa had a hit today. Torres had a big day, two for three, uh, and a a double and a home run. And the important thing about the home run was that it was the other way. Um, Torres is right when he's going the other way. That means he's, he's he's in sync with his mechanics. And watching his swing in slow motion today, he was he was behind the baseball. He was really um, not flying open like he normally does with that front hip. And he looked good at the plate. Uh, Oswaldo Cabrera had a hit, uh, two RBIs and a walk. And Bader went 0 for 3. Uh, but... You know, it's the first three spring, three at bats in spring training. Who cares? So let's talk about the kids. Uh, the kids. So you got to see Sweeney today in a couple of at bats and in the field. You got to see Pereira as well, who struck out in his only at bat. And of course, you got to see Dominguez. Now let's talk about Dominguez for a second. So it was big news when Dominguez was invited to spring training, right? So the Yankees can get a look at him. And in his first spring training game. All he does is go one for three with a home run. And he puts the ball in play all three times. And now if you really go back and look at, at his at-bats, he did not look to overmatch. He looked comfortable. He looked like he was taking good pitches. He had commanded the strike zone. Uh, and you got, you got to see him from the left and the right side. So the fact that he doesn't look overmatched is a very good sign. Now, everybody's predicting he's going to start down in Somerset. If he has a good spring tra training and does not make the team out of spring training, uh, you could see him in Scranton. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts in AAA and he's here before, quicker than you think. And I think that's another reason why the Yankees didn't want to go out and go get a big name because for left field because I think internally they feel that Dominguez is close. And I think that they don't want to put somebody in front of him to stop him from growing uh, and being able to make that jump to the major leagues. Because if he can come in and be a contributor now in 2023 and play left field, you know, I think we'll all be happy that we didn't make that trade, especially if Dominguez is contributing in a big way. And if he can continue, if this is the sign of things to come for him, then we should be excited. And I, I, and I was on the one to say, do not trade Dominguez. Do not trade him. See what you got before you trade him. And, you know, one for three in his first spring training game as, as a young kid, you know, facing major league pitching, yes, you know, it wasn't like he was going up against the top, top flight pitching of Major League Baseball. Um, but at the same time, you know, the only name here that I recognize is Alex Cobb and Nick Nelson for the Phillies. So it wasn't like he was facing top flight pitching, but there are some Major League pitching in there that he got to see. And that's the thing. Now, let's see how he builds on this game. You know, it was an absolute moonshot that he hit and everybody's excited. Why? Because... It's exciting to see the kids coming into fruition and, and starting to grow and seeing what they're capable of. Um, but tomorrow's a new day. Uh, they have a, sp a, split sp a split squad tomorrow. They're playing at home against Atlanta, and then they're playing against Toronto in Toronto's facility. So you're going to see a split team tomorrow. So two games are going to get covered tomorrow. You'll probably see the regulars at George Steinbrenner because they don't really travel much during spring training games. That's why I didn't see some of them today. Uh, Judge, LeMahieu, Stanton, they'll probably all be in the lineup tomorrow, I would guess. Uh, I know Severino is supposed to pitch tomorrow or Monday. Uh, and if you look at the schedule, there's a lot of spring training games. There's no, not a lot of off days. Uh, so, 
you know, there's gonna, these videos are going to come fast, you know, real fast. They're going to be short as well. So tell me what you guys think about today's game. Are you excited with what you saw with Dominguez? Are you excited with to see what Glaber is? Glaber just raising his stock for a trade? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, what did you think of Connor for Leffer's day? How did Bader look to you? What did the pitching look like? I really didn't cover the pitching because there really wasn't any big names that pitched other than Ryan Weber, and he's a spot guy if we need him. Uh, Velasquez looked like a train wreck, flying open, thrown across his body. He was missing. The reason why you can tell that a pitcher's missing wide is because he's throwing his change up and leaving it arm side. So that he did that a few times, and you know he he uh, he he threw the worst of all. He had an 18, he has an 18 year array in one inning of uh, six hits, two runs, two earned runs, one walk, one strikeout, and he gave up a home run. So he was the one that kind of looked the worst. Weissert looked fine. Um, other than that. You know, it's just who cares about the pitching. We'll, we'll go more into the pitching when it's guys that we really want to pay attention to. And that's what these recaps will be. Um, I'm not going to go cover random guys that we know will be in the minors. I'll talk about the guys that we think will make the team out of spring training. So tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will catch you guys on the next recap in the next video.